All right, we're going to talk about the Chelsea side that you said Arsenal need to be worried about, who've just been beaten by relegation-threatened Wolves. What happened here? We didn't see a, we didn't see a bounce, uh, did we? Uh, um, you know, I, I didn't see the fighting spirit in the first half. We saw a little bit in the second half, in the beginning of it. I mean, the change, the change of managers didn't do anything. This is a team that understands that their season is over. Well, I shouldn't say that. It feels like uh, the season is over, even though there's a massive game uh, or two games coming up against Real Madrid. Zero bounce, which I didn't expect. I think those that knew Frank Lampard knew exactly how he operates. Uh, those that didn't, to me, he's not a person that inspires incredible confidence. And maybe that's not his fault. That's his character. Uh, I don't know how he is uh, on the training ground uh, or in the dressing room. Maybe he's he, he's different than we see him in front of cameras. I think so far, uh, Frank Lampard hasn't proven that he's a great tactician, that he's experienced enough. And, you know, I'm not saying, you know, I, I'm not going to put this loss on him because obviously he's had maybe one or two days uh, uh, with the team, but he certainly knows the club, knows the players. And I didn't see any reaction to Frank Lampard being uh, named a manager, even if it's just interim. Was it the right decision from Chelsea, given the, the time that he's in right now, just to, to have that stop gap? No, no. In fact, I wouldn't go uh, back for him because, I mean, there's a reason why Frank Lampard was let go of, uh, at Chelsea. There's a reason, similar reasons why he, he was let go of uh, um, uh, at Everton. I mean, when was the last time he's won a game in the Premier League, right? So I can understand that in the moment of discomfort or even chaos at Chelsea, you bring somebody that's familiar with it. But I, I almost would have brought John Terry as an assistant uh, uh, manager, right? I mean, real character, right? Everybody kind of uh, uh, jumps up when he probably walked, uh, walks uh, in the dressing room. Um, that would have been something that I don't know if Chelsea did try or not. I don't know if John Terry would have been open to that even, but that would have been my way of going things. Uh, uh, no, I, I just don't think, uh, I, to be quite frank, this was, this has been a massive risk to the reputation of Frank Lampard. Because if this continues, if he doesn't turn around uh, this team, I don't know if he, if he ever gets a job in the Premier League again. All right. Just to return to it then, after what you've said, just to refresh your memory, you still think this Chelsea side under Frank Lampard, that you're not too inspired by that appointment, are going to cause Arsenal problems? <laughs> They can. Uh, well, simply because I've been in this game uh, for too long. I mean, there's still some quality and, and on a given day, uh, I mean, they're, they're capable, right? I mean, forget Chelsea, but we don't know. Let, let's see what frame of mind Arsenal are coming into this game, right? I mean, we're talking about this is this may be one of the games, you know, uh, you know, those three that I mentioned, Manchester City, Chelsea and Newcastle. But who knows what, what happens against West Ham and I have to look Southampton. So it, it's quite possible. It's, you know, Chelsea are going to get a result here and there uh, that we're going to say, wow, where was this Chelsea before? It just happens because they're Chelsea football club and there is still quality in that team. So seeing as though it just happens, do you see them getting anything in their meetings with Real Madrid and progressing in the Champions League? No, no, I do not. I do not. Uh, I mean, Real Madrid are made for these uh, big matches. Uh, you've even seen, uh, you know, what happened over the weekend against Villarreal. Uh, resting key players, Modric, uh, Kroos. I'm beaten. I'm sorry? I'm beaten by Villarreal. Well, well, they were beaten because they were looking forward to the Chelsea games. They, they know the title is gone uh, in La Liga. And uh, there was no Kroos, no uh, Modric. I'm trying to think um, who else. There's probably another so Basically, player. you're saying that Real Madrid putting all their eggs into the Champions League basket, understandably so. Of course, it's their trophy. Uh, they they own it. I'm I'm surprised they haven't given it uh, given it to Real Madrid to keep it uh, uh, forever right now. But I think we understood that ahead of this. Uh, uh, even if Real Madrid won the game against Villarreal, I, I still think Barcelona would have won uh, the title as well. So this is the the biggest title uh, that Real Madrid crave uh, when La Liga is, is gone. So I don't see uh, any chance here for Chelsea. But remember, when Chelsea sack a manager, they go on and win the Champions League. Uh, no. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.